So guys, welcome to today's video. This is Tilly Manon Yowichi, aka Chuxima, S computer instructor turned digital marketer, the founder of Digital Top Notch Academy. What's up guys? So okay, the other day I launched this campaign to uh create drive traffic from facebook to a whatsapp set system so so i was trying a creative okay you know when you are trying to uh create your campaign on facebook platform uh, there are uh, some other things that you're going to be considering like your the people you're going to target and all that one of the things you are going to be setting up is your creatives like um the text and the graphics and everything that you're going to use to showcase your brand or your product to your id customer so this all are uh, dealt in uh, the creatives okay so in terms of creating a whatsapp sales phone i believe um caroza uh, creatives can help you get a lot of clicks okay i believe this can be um there are a lot of things that might actually influence your your clicks you get with business and all that but um if you are into fashion or anything that has to do with uh, creative beauty okay beauty business also can make the most of this okay and also like um um okay um if you're into even online selling digital product this also can work okay you can use this strategy to get a lot of clicks to your business now you know when it comes to whatsapp sales phone conversion might not happen when you get the clicks okay you might get some little bit of in interactions and other especially if you have not automated your e-commerce okay if you have not automated your product on your whatsapp as an e-commerce so it might take time before you get the sales okay but uh before you get the sales um um how do you get people get more clicks okay apart from selling also to your friends and family your relatives or also the people your friends and family brings to your business how do you get more clicks in the general market you know you already know who your customers are you know or uh, their interest you know their behavior how do you get to them is facebook so if you are creating this campaign on facebook you need also to create a creatives the write up and the images that you're going to use to attract these people to your business so that they can start um, negotiating public buying from you um in, along your sales system okay so um caroza creatives can help you get a lot of clicks i tried this with this business and it works okay look at this i launched this campaign i'm actually going to show you how i launch created the whole uh, process like the way i created the whole campaign so that also you can try it okay so i launched this uh, campaign the other day and i say uh, i believe it's going to work because i know it's something um actually i got this with a little bit of selling to my men men uh men men fashion uh collection okay so um i've done a lot of marketing i know some of the things they want they want to have images see things you know people even like to see the price of what they're buying on the on the page they don't need to start uh clicking to asking you price this is actually to filter everything you know this i think this is the best way to automate your business all this send me a dim if you want to get my price all this it doesn't work it's just going to pile up work for you. people will keep on sending you message to ask you questions um um uh, what is the price sometimes but if they see the price anybody that is coming in even though the person is negotiating the person it will be a lesser bit of a comp um stress for you because the person will know you have already stated your price so it's just for him to either he accepts with what you said or if you decide to give him discount then he knows that uh, everything is going to be more lesser in terms of when you are trying to say everybody should deem you to ask your price okay so these are some of the things i kind of uh, observed about the men fashions and i use that to launch this campaign so what i did for this campaign was to um set a campaign on it i uh, define also the asset so it is on the creative also i have this used a different kind of creative you might probably know uh the caroza so here you'll be needing a lot of clear image about your product it can be just image describing a single product uh, with all the information your potential customer need to make decision about that product the price the what the product is all, all those kind of things showcase all these things in the in a single image placeholder that people can slide through you know whenever they see their art your art in their timeline people can slide through them see them know what if they can uh, is something they like and once they like any of them they can just simply click on one link uh they will just be able to chat to you directly on whatsapp so that's actually how this uh caroza works with this whatsapp sales funnel okay so i launched this campaign look at how it's doing 
um so far it has been running for a more on two days and now going to, for two days a budget was 500 naira daily so if you look at the uh the uh the result we are getting it says here we are getting 158 links uh and the reach is 9,600. Okay, so approximately 10. Let me say thank you. The impression uh, the, now you understand about the reach and impression. The reach means that um, it's showing uh, it's shown to uh, 9,682 unique people, while the impression is uh, is showing 11,625 times. That means two people, one person can be seen the ads more than one or two times. Okay. So uh, the uh, the cost per result that means um, amount and spending to get a click is it uh, naira. Let me tell you, there are businesses that will pay two hundred to get one link unique. People they know that might likely buy their product, even though not now, even in the future. Because if you compile a list of this in the long run, you have built a kind of a customer system for your business. So you know that not all one fifty are actually clicking through. Some people. Sometimes people will click, network will not allow it, but it will be recorded here that they actually click to come to my WhatsApp. But I'm not getting these numbers they have here. Now look at the frequency I talked about. Okay, they say um, unique link clicks, 130 unique link, but I'm not actually getting this number. I can be honest with you, but I'm getting the conversion in this campaign uh, that is actually making this campaign profitable and i intend to still leave it running for a while so here you can actually use this campaign and get a uh, good uh, clicks to your business unique click remember i'm targeting targeted people so most of the people who are coming even to click to chat with me they know they are coming for jeans most of them i'm not going to sell to them um, probably i don't have the the size i don't have their size or i don't have the stock they want all those stuff but these are actually the people who are going to be on my list then even when i have new product or different product i know that i can actually sell to them now this is actually most of the hidden potentials of this one so when i'm getting uh a lot of uh, much clicks with this little amount of money to my business um it's going to be profitable in the long run i can tell you because this is like uh, i have the potential of showing more people my business with low uh, low budget okay so that is actually it. i'm going to show you how to launch this campaign now now to launch this campaign get your creatives ready optimize your whatsapp unique link if you want to track it use bitly uh track that uh with LinkedIn, bitly create your shorten link with bitly that will track like help you know where your clicks and where they are coming from online so you can use that on your create or your copy get your ad copy you know right about to sell your product to your people create that content optimize this link as a call to action that is your whatsapp unit link as a call to your your action on your copies then get a lot of clear images about your product and, and all that that is what you're going to be using get like 12 to 15 that's what you're going to be using to create this Car carosa creatives okay and you launch it for your business and you also text it and see how it works i'm going to work for fashion business it's going to work for beauty uh, it's going to work for um um anything that has to even digital product can sell it you can use this to showcase your uh, your ebooks or your uh, courses and all that in your learning management system and all that i believe these are places um it can work for full stuff also because um uh, because it can show your customers all you have in stocks and all that so this can work for a level of business so you know this place are actually people's contact and there are a lot of ways you can optimize all this information in your advertising campaign in the future um, um data is life when it comes to advertising okay you need to work with data okay so i'm going to show you how you can launch this carosa creative campaign uh for your business do that so i want to create um um a campaign for this fashion store just use this to show you um how you can use this okay you might have physical product or whatever you want to run if that uh, is within the uh, if the product complies to Facebook advertising policy so you can create use this kind of um, uh, campaign I'm going to show you now to create campaign to uh, drive traffic from Facebook platforms to your sales system okay so make sure you log into your ads account and also make sure you have funded your ads account if you have multiple ads account make sure it's selected okay this is the ads account i want to use to run this campaign so in this ads uh, we are we are here we are in the ads manager in case uh, you probably might be on your business page and all that you probably might be in whatever place in this facebook um ads manager so come to the ads manager here uh, it will load you up to here it will load you up to here so this is where you can actually start to create the campaign so what you need to do is just click on create okay 
so on our campaign objective we are going to be going with the uh traffic okay uh traffic is a the traffic uh don't worry about all the setup here just click on continue so um what we need to do now is to set up our campaign name let's say we give it a uh, whatsapp uh sales funnel so let's say we give it whatsapp sales funnel campaign Okay, so let's say we give this the name WhatsApp Sales Funnel Campaign. Nothing much you can set up here. Just go to Next or you just go to Ad Set here. So let's go to the Ad Set. That is where we have uh, more things to set up on. Okay. So, okay, the um, traffic, where we are going to be directing our traffic is going to be on WhatsApp. Okay. So um, you can select the page you want to run the traffic with. Okay, you know. Uh, you need a page a facebook page too if you are if you don't know how to create a page i have a video where i've shown you how you can create your page and set it up and get it ready and also um uh, link your whatsapp business to your business page okay you need this page to run this campaign okay so you select that page here so i'm going to go for this page uh, this is the page we want to run the campaign okay so if it is um is up then i will set my budget how much do i want to spend daily okay i can start as low as 500 okay um i'm i'm paying in naira so that is it and i will schedule it to start immediately and end date i will not specify i will just leave it open and i can monitor things to know how things are working out okay so this targeting actually i can use a saved audience if i've actually created one before but let's say i want to create a new target audience for this campaign i can simply do this i can just edit the location so the location i will just remove it and select uh lagos let me say i want to just reach only people um in lagos okay so let's search for uh, lagos so lagos nigeria let's just reach people in lagos nigeria i can actually um um add other location if i want to but for now I, I will just maintain this location because of delivery and all that so i can edit, edit the age range i want to reach let's say i want to reach from people um let's say 26 uh, let me do it 25 to uh, 40 or 45 okay so i can actually specify a age range i want to reach with this campaign so i will just leave it at 49 so gender also i can edit the gender i just want to reach only men because what i'm gonna want to promote is just men where there's no need of reaching women with it so i will specify it to just reach only um, um men okay so another thing i can do here is to apply detail targeting actually facebook said they're going to optimize this for me now on the detail targeting i can apply it here so facebook is going to kind of optimize this to make sure people they show the ads are people who are willing to click on the uh, whatsapp link and all that so i can kind of leave it here but if you want to get more detailing or targeting on your on your audience okay you can actually uh first of all create the audience okay create the audience first create the audience first before creating the ads then on the use saved audience you can easily select the name of audience here okay but let's say i leave it here but facebook can optimize this campaign for me within this age range and just to men so i will leave it this way and i can save this audience if i want to or not so i can also set up my placement the placement is where you want your ads to be shown and also um you can do a manual placement which i will just leave it at automatically facebook will optimize the best experience for me and look at what facebook is optimizing for link clicks there are other things you can optimize just optimize for link clicks and facebook will show your ads to people who are likely to clicks and look at the estimation we're having okay now based on me paying 500 daily i can get up to 25 to 73 clicks this is actually reasonable enough if i can average this amount i think is uh, we can convert more on this campaign so i will just leave it this way and that is it on the ad set so so let's go to the ads now so i'll click on next okay now the ads okay let's uh the ad set do we give it a name okay we can give the ad set a name let's call it wss ad sets one okay so let's go to now uh the ad itself you can just give this one wss ads okay just kind of give it a name so that we uh, easily identify it okay the page setting is there 
so what we are going to do here is the creatives okay this is actually where you set up the ads the the thing that is going to be shown to people itself so it's, instead of using single image and video with this carousel uh, actually allows you to set up multiple images as you see now at automatic i have um three uh different images i can use you can add more than uh, up to 10 use this plus minus to add more space so i'm going to add up to like 10 images here then i also can have each image i add i can give it um a title a heading and also a description okay so uh, what we need on this place is to create all these multiple image we want to slide show people can just slide show them to see all our collections we'll just create it on this placement here then describe all of them individually then we can provide our primary test this is like the test that is going to display uh, why people can read the test then they can now view all our product below and our call to action also we are going to optimize it to be on or send message on whatsapp okay we can actually use other uh, other things like shop now or whatever but uh, let's leave it as send message also people know that they can easily contact us on whatsapp okay so uh, let's set up the uh, the images we want so i'm going to just select the the first uh call out then i also select image so it will load us to our art manager here you can pick image from your computer if you already have the image sorted out on your computer another thing you can do is to use images that you have already posted on your page this is actually what i want to do but if i don't have image here what i would have done is just to use the upload here it's going to load us to your computer where you now select the folder where you have stored the image probably you have used your canva to design all the images you need for the campaign then you can store it in a folder in your computer then once it comes here you now come here and select it and upload it into your facebook ads manager then you can now select it there as your one of your image on your slideshow okay i mean one of your image in your corosa okay so here i already have the image there on the um i posted it on the page before so let's use page images I'm going to load us to all the image we have published in this page so i, I can just pick the images i want to use for that ads so i want to use this i will just select this i click on continue okay so i can write uh, this image i can give it a name a type a headline is optional but it's advisable you give it just kind of describe the product this can, can be the name of the product so you can do this not just for a, a fashion clothes you can use this to promote any kind of physical product so this is probably where you um um you you describe the the products you want to use or the image you are using or if it's a, a cover image for a product to describe the product here okay so this i will call it um uh, combat joggers so I'll call it a uh, stretchy, stretchy black combat jogger. So um, just name is okay. Um, now this is how it looks like. So when people are viewing this um, image products in their in their timeline, they are going to see the name this way, and they also have this um, call to action here, send message on WhatsApp, which is this thing here. Okay, so that's actually the goal here. You don't need a description. It's going to description is all about another kind of description below this title. So it might not actually come out very well. Just ignore this. Just provide the title. And uh, this is actually what we are going to do to all the image. Uh, we are going to add all of them. I've added one. Let's so let's go to the two. So I will select the number two. Uh, the uh, the number two section. I also select the image that is going to be there. So this is how we are going to do and add up all the images we need for this campaign. Okay okay so what i've done here is that i've added um different images in our placeholders on our carousel display okay so um if you look at um this now you see different image with different um um headline and all that i recommend you focus just on the headline just ignore the description actually is optional even the headline is optional but uh providing um um a like a brief test explaining your image or whatever it can be uh, the name of your product or whatever in each of the image is ideal okay see it makes it more full and more uh, something readable people can read it to also get more information about your product so I already added description actually it's not necessary so you can add more placeholders here as it is now we have nine so I can add more I can make it 10 click on add here and I can just simply click on this arrow here it's going to go to 10 now this 10 i can select image and add to it so i don't want to i just want to maintain this nine so i will just remove the 10 that i just added so that is it about the uh, carosa display we have created all the images we need here okay so what i need now to do is the primary text now the primary text is uh, the text that will display 
uh, I kind of touched it earlier, right? Uh, the test that will display at the top of all this preview. So this is it here. Uh, the test that will display at this top here, after the sponsor, uh, the test that will display them, people can now slide through to view all this image that we have added in our Carosa here. So the primary test, I already have a test I want to use. So I'll go to my notes, uh, I mean Google Docs, sorry. This is why I have it. I'll copy the link now. I've actually created a copy, a, a art copy. You know, do your art copy, create the right right up to sell your product and all that, and also try to optimize any link you want to optimize. Now, this is our WhatsApp link, but this is shortening. So, also, why people can see, uh, let me copy this up first. Sorry, let me show you why people can still click on this WhatsApp here to send us message. In our description also, I will also optimize our WhatsApp unique link where people can also click on it. You know, giving people many options to uh, uh, to chat us on WhatsApp. So I will just copy this creatives, uh, this ad copy and put it on our primary text. So make sure you create it down. You can actually write it here, but I've already created I mean, on the Google Doc. So I will just paste it here. So I will just paste it here. okay so it's going to update okay it's going to update now so it's going to update so this is how it's going to read people will read all this formation and also view the ads and that is made basically it um our call to action is whatsapp message so people can easily send us message on whatsapp okay know that our whatsapp business is already in, uh, in, uh, integrated in the facebook page we are using for this so for you to do this you can easily make sure you connect your whatsapp uh, to your Facebook business page uh, is owned by Facebook so the integration is very easy I also have a video how to do that I will link it below this video so that is basically it once all this thing is set up no worry you're going to be setting up here is just the Corosa image provide your primary text and make sure you optimize your call to action to send message uh, send message to WhatsApp okay once you are done with all this setup and you are good to go just click on publish and once your images everything does not contradict or go against the Facebook advertising policy Facebook will review your ads and publish it and it will start running okay so I'm sure this uh, this ad is going to convert very well I'm going to just allow it to run for one day then I'm going to do a review to just show you what this ad is doing okay so that is it if you click on publish now it's going to go for review and it will start running okay so that is it on this video um i hope you find it valuable and you now know how to create your campaign your whatsapp campaign using the coraza creatives okay so um go over and try this uh use this to drive traffic to your whatsapp sales system and grow your business and make more sales so if you enjoyed this video if you're watching on youtube subscribe to our channel turn on the notification and uh, give us the thumbs up if you're watching this on facebook like our page and uh, share this thing with anybody you know that is going to find it valuable okay so that is it for this video today uh, and i will see you um, in the next one